Hey, Matt Lanford here with Primary and Secondary. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Filster Enigma. Right off the bat, I think it's necessary to clarify the Enigma is not a holster, but it's a chassis system. So basically what you do is you get a compatible holster. And when I say compatible, I mean, let's see here, right here. Here's a Filster Pro Series for a Glock 30 not a 30, a 48, 43, 43X. Yes. So basically this is a compatible holster for a, an Enigma. And the compatible part is the spacing of the wing or claw holes, the, the, the screws. If your holster has that pattern with that spacing and it's not light bearing, it's going to be most likely compatible with the Enigma. So here we have it. This is the chassis. Basically what it is, is it's kind of a belt system um, that does not rely on you wearing pants. It doesn't rely on you wearing a belt. It doesn't rely on, well, it's very independent. So you, you can wear it with scrubs. You can wear it with basketball shorts. You can wear it naked if you need to, or if you want to. So what we have is uh, the chassis locks on right here and this is where the claw is or wing whatever the hell you want to call it um, and you also take advantage of using this because what this is still doing is with this belt system it's still contorting the gun uh, it's still pushing or pulling i guess it's more pushing uh, the gun into your gut or into your body or whatever you happen to have um, so basically you, you, you put the, the belt around your body, you use this little leg leash. A lot of people don't quite understand the need, the need for the leg leash. Basically it clips around your leg around the top of your thigh and it allows you to draw or move around without the holster and the whole system rotating or moving up too much. So this is especially helpful if you're, if you're conducting a draw and you're grabbing the gun and the whole thing doesn't go up with you, that's a good thing. So basically it adds a, a bit more stability. So what we have is we have the, the chassis itself and then we have the, the belt system, which is held together by these cool clips or this one cool clip that uses a magnet and it locks right into place. It is adjustable. Um, as a matter of fact, there tends to be a lot of material. Uh, it's pretty safe to cut it down once you figure out the, the optimal size that you wanna use. Uh, or you can get some kind of a, a clip or something to hold it to itself. Obviously, I haven't cut anything yet. I'm kind of scared to. I guess the holidays are over, so I'm, I'm, I'm in the clear for now. Um, one thing also with this is the, the points where the belt attaches to the chassis is really cool. So what I found is you have these different hold, hold points on the chassis where the belt mounts to. And what I found is having it higher and closer to the gun provides a little bit more, um, I guess it's, it would be kind of control. It provides more influence over the way the gun is carried on my body. So if I had, if I wound up moving it, uh, the belt position out here, then it would provide, it wouldn't quite hold the gun as tightly to my body. And this is something that you need to customize to yourself. Also with this is notice, this is not moving. This, this portion right here does not rotate. Now here is my 365 Enigma that I have not completely put together yet. I still need to fine tune it. And that sucker is wiggly. Your Enigma should not be wiggly. This, this needs to be locked into place in order to have optimal, better concealment. Now, this sucker, this is going to do its job. It's going to do it well if you're doing your part. You're, obviously, your attire is going to play a, a, a part in this. Don't be stupid about the way you dress. Look at yourself in a mirror before you leave if you want to be concealed. Um, but really, uh, it, it, it comes down to the holster. Going back to the Pro Series, there's this little, see where the wedge is? There's kind of a, it's, it's a bulbous portion. Matter of fact, a lot of people were very concerned with that. And then when, the, when they went hands-on, they quickly realized it's rather comfortable. It's almost like this was designed 
to be in an, in an enigma. I can't even talk. Now, this being said, you can use all kinds of other holsters. This is a Dark Star gear. Guess what? Same hole pattern. This is compatible. That's from my, uh, my, my Langdon Elite LTT. Here is a blatant, blatant plug. Or I'm, I'm adding something. Product placement, that's what it's called. Walter PDP, also in a Dark Star gear holster. And guess what? The wing hole pattern is compatible. So don't, don't think the, just because you have an enigma, all of a sudden you're a ninja and you can get away with sneaking around and no one will ever know that you're carrying a gun. You need to be smart about this. So it's still going to print if you aren't doing your part. Obviously, carrying something that's going to be a little smaller is going to conceal a little better. Carrying something larger, hey, what do you know? It might be the opposite. So these are things to consider. The Enigma also, it's something that I find it's comfortable enough where this could be my everyday option. Sometimes it is. Sometimes people like to carry uh, a weapon with a weapon light. So what do we do with that? Because clearly this is not compatible. And, you know, the Filster's tried. It doesn't work that well. So that, that means that we need to have a different type of Enigma. An Enigma designed for a weapon light like this. So this is a Filster floodlight in a weapon light specific Enigma. The nice thing about incorporating these two systems. So number one, okay, I don't need to worry about what I'm wearing. It's again, independent, but also using a floodlight. That means I can use pretty much any handgun I have that's compatible with a X300U because that's the way I roll. If you happen to be one of those weird TLR1 HL people, well, go for it. You have to buy a different floodlight for that. But um, this is pretty much universal with almost every pistol I have with a weapon light. So it doesn't get much better than that. That definitely is one of the drawbacks I found with the non-light bearing Enigma is that I need to figure out, okay, what guns am I going to be carrying with this? And what I wound up doing was I, de I determined the purpose or the way I'm going to be carrying this is going to be lower profile. It's going to be smaller. I want to have a little better concealment. So I'm going to go with slightly smaller guns. I'm going to let mission determine what, what I'm going to be using. So light bearing dude, it's awesome. It works. That being said, again, you are not going to be a ninja. It's not going to disappear on your body. You still have to do your part. But man, it is, it is a, it's a cool system. Uh, a lot of people also say kind of negative things about this. They don't understand the purpose or they think it's kind of a kind of silly. Yeah, try it out. Like most everything. If you don't go hands-on, if you don't see this stuff yourself, it's kind of difficult to make an educated decision. Some people think, yes, I'm only going to carry this or I'm only going to use the Enigma if I need to do super low profile carry, if I need to go into non-permissive environments or something like that. And yes, it, it works great for that, but it also works great for everyday carry. And in talking to John, the, the owner of, of Filster, he's basically come to the conclusion that this kind of makes regular everyday carry using a belt and, you know, like this kind of thing, kind of obsolete. And it kind of is because... This is, this is actually pretty simple. I, I will say, though, it, it is a little unusual getting used to having... So I, I'm still wearing pant belts. I'm still wearing pants. Um, it's, it's kind of unusual, though, to feel the two separate belts on my body. That's just my own personal weird thing. Uh, it's just a matter of getting used to. But overall, the Enigma really works really nicely. Um, and yes, I know a lot of people are upset that, number one, the, the light bearing one is not out yet. And it's going to be out soon. Um, but also people are upset that the, uh, the, the standard Enigma is not at quite as readily available, man, they are working on it. They are doing everything they can to get these out into the, the hands of the consumers that want these. Um, yeah, just make sure before you get one, make sure you have a holster that's compatible because you shouldn't have to alter the, ch the chassis of the Enigma. You shouldn't have to alter your holster to make them compatible it's pretty simple. Matter of fact, on Filster, they have it kind of outlined in both videos and in, in, in print. It's just this whole pattern. That's all you need. And I'm going to be biased and I'm going to, I'm going to 
say you have the, the pro series for the non light bearing, it's a perfect fit. It is specifically designed to be used with an enigma. Don't get much better than that. So that's all I got for you. Um, let me know what you think. If you have one, tell me about it in the, in the comments below. Uh, appreciate uh, all the support we have from all of our, our, our loyal fans, listeners, and, and uh, members. Uh, you can find us at primaryandsecondary.com. We have a forum, which is completely separate from Facebook, on primaryandsecondary.com slash forum. Uh, we're also on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash primaryandsecondary. We have a lot of benefits available. If you don't want to support on Patreon, but you want to keep up on the latest that Primary and Secondary does, uh, well, first off, you need to be subscribed on YouTube. Uh, make sure you have uh, make sure you have the alert checked that you're alerted when uh, when we have something live or something new that gets posted. But also on Patreon, I post a lot of the content there first, and sometimes I don't necessarily post it elsewhere. Um, if anything, it's just kind of a uh, kind of a thank you to those that are following uh, that they get to see stuff first. And they get a share or watch or whatever. So uh, big, th big thanks to the supporters. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. We appreciate it. And I will talk to you later.